Good morning, loved ones. I made it. I'm just a couple minutes late. Had to deal with two of our little boys and a situation. You can pray for us because yesterday um, one of our employees who were testing for COVID tested positive. And he actually had spent time with two of our boys working in the yard yesterday. So please pray for that. So anyways, we're going to continue five minutes in talking about choo- I choose, I choose. And um, I'm in the house today. And my dogs, my babies are here. They're like all wanting to climb into my lap. But anyways, um, so I had received this note from somebody who had been here a long time ago. And the Lord's been impressing on me to share this scripture, Isaiah 42, 6, in which, hi, Kathy, which the scripture says, I am the Lord, I have called you in righteousness, and I will take you by the hand and keep you. I will give you as a covenant for my people a light for the nations. And so we are to be a light for the nations, but one of the ways that we do that is that we need to make a decision. We need to choose. Yesterday, we talked about how we would choose love, and I'll repeat that. It said, no occasion justifies hatred, no injustice warrants bitterness. I choose love. Today, I will love God and what God loves. So today, we're going to talk about I choose joy. And so this is a difficult one, especially with all of the difficulties that we have been facing over the last year, that in the middle of all of this, that we need to choose joy. Yesterday, we talked about being intentional. And that's what I'm talking about now, too, is being intentional. And yes, those are busts. You're going to have sounds. That's just the way it is. That's just my life. So this says, I choose joy. I will invite my God to be the God of circumstances. I will refuse the temptation to be cynical because that is the tool of the lazy thinker. I will refuse to see people as anything less than human beings created by God. I will refuse to see any problem as anything less than an opportunity to see God. So whenever we're in a situation and we're not having joy, we need to actually intentionally choose joy we need to choose joy all the time because in that we can overcome the situation and we can see god working in it maybe somebody's being uh horrible to you today or maybe you just like feel overwhelmed but if we choose joy god will then give us the ability to get through the rest of the day, to overcome the circumstances, to choose love with the person who's being difficult with us. And it's interesting that when we choose joy, there are some other actions that we need to do. We, this will invite God to be the God of our circumstances, meaning he is in control of everything. And as this scripture says, he says that he is the Lord, he's called us in righteousness, he will take us by the hand and keep us, And he will give us a covenant for his people. And he's going to be with you. He's going to help you overcome these situations. He's going to help you to choose. But as in anything else, everything we do, we have to choose. And even doing nothing is a choice, choosing to do nothing. So we choose joy. We invite God to be the God of our circumstances. So whatever's facing us, we just put it in his hands. We refuse the temptation to be cynical. That is just to constantly be talking negative things. That's not joy. It says, I refuse to see people as anything less than human beings created by joy. Refuse, refuse, invite. I will refuse to see any problem as anything less than an opportunity to see God. These are all decisions, active decisions that we make, active and passive. Doing nothing is passively making a decision to not choose joy, to not choose love, to not respond in a positive manner to whatever situation is before you. You know, yesterday was a difficult day for me. It was a very difficult day for me. And um, I had some challenges in front of me between my body and the, the heart condition that I'm dealing with. I'm believing God for full healing, but my body was not cooperating with me. But I was choosing joy. I was choosing to take it step by step. I chose to take a break and breathe. But then somebody else chose to not be nice and was um, acting in an insulting manner. And I had to deal with that person. But then I could have been a mess the rest of the day, a mess the rest of the night. But I didn't. I choose to love that person and forgive that person. 
and I choose to have joy no matter the situation. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard to make the choice. But passive inaction is a choice. You can choose to be passive or you can choose to act. So just giving up, surrendering, or just letting the day take you wherever the day takes you, that's a choice to be passive. God wants us to choose to be active. And when we're active, then he can use us as a light to others. Because whether you know it or not, and whether you accept it or not, there are people watching what you are doing. They know that you're a Christian, or they know that you've just become a Christian, or maybe they're watching you grow to the point where you can accept the Lord as your Savior. But people are watching everything you do. If you're in a leadership position or if you're taking care of babies or if you're a mom or if you're a pastor, um, people are watching you. And they are going to be influenced by how you act, especially if you are representing the Lord. The Lord chose you. He chose you. He took you by the hand. He's watching over you. He's keeping you. He's giving you everything that you need to be the person he created you to be. And he's with you all the time. But you have to choose. You have to decide. Will I have joy today? Or will I allow what happens in this day, the circumstances in this day, to overtake me and put me in a bad mood or give me depression? I am going to choose joy. And with this, I'm going to choose to let God be the God of circumstance. I will refuse to be temptation. Um, refuse to be temptation tempted you know sometimes it's hard speaking in english when i speak spanish all the time but i will refuse the temptation to be cynical that's the tool of the lazy thinker that's just the lazy way out be cynical everything is bad you know nothing's going to get any better you know i'm just not going to do anything that's lazy love is active when we choose love which is what we discussed yesterday it's an action love is an action joy is an action choose to be intentionally thinking about having joy today so yeah we're going to talk about the next one tomorrow next one is peace which is a big one so love you guys i pray that god blesses you today don't forget to share this with somebody please follow us on instagram follow us on youtube follow us on facebook um but like it comment let me know what you think and um Please share this with somebody. Somebody's got to hear this message today. We love you. God bless. See you tomorrow at 10 o'clock Central Time.